You already know about the headlights, the engine, and the handling, so let's talk about all the stuff nobody ever tells you about the MX-5. The removable hardtop sounds like a good idea, but it's a real pain to pop it on and off. And unless you're like seven feet tall, it's gonna take two people to do it. They're not cheap either, so don't even bother buying one if your soft top is any good. 99% of a hardtop's life is gonna be spent propped up against the wall gathering dust anyway. And if yours isn't, you're doing it all wrong. Daily reminder, no power is the MX-5's main feature. You might not know this, but the 1.8 liter MX-5's engine is actually a D-turboed four-wheel drive power plant that's been adapted to the FR layout. This engine originally powered the 323 GTX and hints to its transverse boosted heritage includes coolant routing optimized for the FF layout, unused oil feed holes in the block, and a forged crankshaft from the factory. The MX-5 is a grip car, not a drift car. Look no further than the short wheelbase, wide track width, and compliant suspension design, and you'll realize this car rewards technically-minded driving and challenges you to always take better lines. With this in mind, the best mod you can do to your MX-5 is always better tires. Second best mod, Lanny's Alignment. Bro tip, wear sunscreen, wear sunglasses, and wear earplugs. Top-down cruising means lots of sun beating down on your skin, which means sunburns, which means skin cancer. Don't get skin cancer. Don't go deaf either. The wind and road noise at freeway speeds is loud enough to cause permanent hearing damage over time. The flippy dip lights are cute, sure, but when the headlights go up, gas mileage goes down. Not by much, but three to five miles to the gallon means a lot to some people. On the plus side, having the lights up is proven to reduce engine bay temperatures by 40 degrees Fahrenheit or more. So if you're worried about overheating on a hot day, flip those headlights up. The best times to drive a Miata are when you least expect it. Driving with a top down at night is an absolute blast. Whether you're in the glow of the city lights or beneath a canopy of stars, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's something everyone should experience at least once. Now, some of you are gonna think I'm crazy for this, but I truly believe that the best Miata drives are in the rain with the top up. Now, hold on, let me explain. Just listen to this. Sunshine and butterflies be damned. I'll do a rainy day drive any day of the week.